Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how to perform vector addition using MATLAB. In this video, I will be using online MATLAB platform for coding purposes. To begin with, let us create a new script by clicking on new script here. And this is the editor window wherein we can type our code. Let me just first use the command clc for clearing uh, the command window. Then clear all for clearing any uh, values which are stored into the previously used variables. Next we will write a two lines of code to enter the desired vectors. For that let me just write here percentage entering vectors. Below that I will use a variable v1 to store the v1 vector values. So for that I will write v1 is equal to input within the brackets use single quotes and type here enter vector 1 put a semicolon at the end similarly type v2 is equal to input open the brace within single quotes type enter vector 2 then let us add this v1 and v2 vectors to form a resultant vector vt so for that let us just type here vt is equal to v1 plus v2. Now to create a figure containing vectors v1, v2 and the total vector vt, so let us use the command figure with a semicolon. After that we can use the command quiver that is q u i v e r. We can enter here 0, 0, comma v1 of 1, comma v1 of 2, comma 0. This will plot the v1 vector onto the figure. After that, we have to type hold on. This is to hold the already plotted vector in the figure. Similarly, to plot the second vector, let us copy this code and we will paste it here and we will change this v1 to v2. Then we will put this hold on again here. To plot the resultant vector on the same graph, let us copy these two lines of code and paste it here. Also, change this v2 to vt. In the next section, we will add the limits for the axis. So let us type here percentage set the axis limits. Below that, let us type the x limit. within the square brackets we can enter minus 10 comma 10 similarly y limit we can add minus 10 comma 10 this limit is completely depends on the magnitudes of the x and y values that you have entered in your v1 and v2 vectors. Similarly, to add the labels and titles to the graph, we can use the commands x label and y label and title. So in this section, let me just type here percentage add label and titles. 
let us give x label as x axis and y label as y axis finally let us give the title within single quotes you can give addition of two dimensional vectors now the code is ready let us click on this run and in the command window enter the vector 1 values so to do that use the square brackets type the x and y coefficients of the first vector that is here i'll use minus 3 comma 5 similarly you enter the second vector here i'll be entering uh, 3 comma 7 then once you enter it will show you the value of total vector that is the addition of two vectors here you can see the first vector is minus 3 comma 5 the second vector is 3 comma 7 if you add these two vectors minus 3 plus 3 is 0 that you can see here similarly 5 comma 7 that is 5 plus 7 is going to be 12 you can see the resultant vector is 0 comma 12 now a graph corresponds to the vector 1 vector 2 and the resultant vector are plotted here you can see here this is my x axis and here we have y axis now the first vector that is a blue vector if you see here we have entered here minus 3 comma 5 you can see here 0 minus 2 and here in between minus 4 and minus 2 there will be a minus 3 corresponds to that you can see here this vector is minus 3 comma 5 it starts from 0 comma 0 and ends at minus 3 comma 5 similarly you can go to the second vector and we can see here this is 3 comma 7 vector then the resultant vector is here which is 0 comma 12. So this is how we can plot the uh, vectors using MATLAB. So I'll also show you how to beautify your graph. To do that, you just go to this format and you just double click. You can see here a property inspector will come. Okay. So if you want to change this axis value, okay, so you just double click on that. You can see here. Uh, the font size you can vary that font size I can give here say 12 uh, let me just make it bold okay and if you want to change the color also you can change the color so let me just give here some blue color similarly for this you can just double click you can change that font to 12 make it bold and you can give a color here I'm setting blue color Similarly, you can also add a grid here. Okay, you can see here there is an option called grid. Okay, you can just check all the X and Y grid here. And then if you want to change the color of the grid, of course, you can change it. Okay, uh, I'm not going to change here. The next thing I'll show you, uh, you can just click on this line such that you can change the properties of this line here. I will just give the line width as 2 let me just enter you can see the line got thickened this line I'll select and here you can see uh, I will just change this line width to say 2 and press enter that is also thickened so finally I will just uh, double click on this line and for that also I'll change the line width to 2 press enter you can see now 
all three lines are getting uh, thickened. I will close this property in inspector. If you want to see uh, the maximized version of this, you can just right click here and you click on maximize. You can see here the graph is maximized. To save this figure, you can just go to uh, figure. You have an option here, save as. Uh, here three options will be there, save as FIG, save as PNG and save as PDF. I'll just save it as PNG. Let us save here. Uh, here it is going to save in the drive itself. So let me just put it as 2D addition. Then click on save. Here you can see that 2D addition. PNG. If you want, you can download it. Okay, so so this is the graph. If you want, you can download it to the computer also by right clicking here and download it. You can see here the file is saved and we can open it. So this can be used for any of your report writing. That's all in this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share to your friends. Thank you.